So welcome Adele. If you don't know Adele already, Adele is one of the ringleaders at Miami Fruit, uh, probably the biggest raw vegan e-commerce business that I know of as far as the amount of products moved and the amount of money made. Money, the amount of money going through that business is tremendous. They're doing such an awesome job and probably one of, uh, they probably have the highest following out of any e-com business I know of as well. So uh, Miami Fruit ships fresh fruit out of Florida across the world, or at least in North America. We'll get into details here with Adele in a sec, but just want to say that Adele and her boyfriend Rain and a, a team of some, some friends, they put together Miami Fruit. Uh, and it's just been like an amazing way for people to access high quality fresh fruit from around the world. So if you're interested in getting some high quality fresh fruit shipped to you in, in North America, hit up Miami Fruit and they will ship you some of the best fruit in the world. Best one of the best fruit I've ever tasted. So without further ado, here we have Adele. Adele, what's going on? Hey, wow. Thank you so much for that introduction. Um, I feel honored to be here and I'm really excited. Cool. Me too. Me too. Uh, so Adele, I'm sure there are people watching this thinking like, wow, it's so cool that she's shipping fruit from uh, you know, her house or her Airbnb or wherever she's working. I'm not sure where you work. We'll get to that in a sec. But it's so cool that this girl is able to team up with her boyfriend and some friends and ship fruit around the world and make it a full-time career. Like if you were to rewind three or four years, and I could say, hey, Adele, you have you know, over 100,000 followers on Instagram and, you know, and you have this many customers, you're making this much money per month. Um, would you have believed it was possible three or four years ago? Well, I always feel like I knew I would be successful because I feel like success is relative. So each person has a different definition of success. And when I discovered my passion, I was on this journey to self-discovery and I was really into like, creative visualization and manifestation. And I would see like, cause I was in high school at the time and I would see myself using creative visualization to talk to boys and I would see that stuff coming into reality. And so I started using it towards my passion. I was growing food in my backyard and then I wanted to grow tropical fruit and be involved in vegan community. And of course, when I was starting Miami Fruit with Rain, I didn't envision it to be as big as it is now. And there's definitely a lot of stress in the process and I wish I could have seen what I'm doing now and the past and realize that it was all going to be fine, whatever kind of stress I was going through in the past. But yeah, I definitely, I guess I've always believed in myself and held on to the vision that I would be successful and that my business would be doing well. But yeah, it definitely has come a lot further than I could have imagined or pictured it to be, which is really cool. <laughs> so amazing. So uh, for those then who are experiencing some self-doubt and who may be not feeling as you know, confident as you once felt, um, you said you were using creative visualization. Can you talk a bit about that and how other people could use creative visualization to help uh, you know, foster some confidence in themselves? Yeah, um, so I read a book called Creative Visualizations by Shakti Gawain. Uh, Gawain or Gawain, I'm not sure, but it's a really great book and I still reread it all the time. Um, and she basically just gives tools for relaxation and meditation and then she gives little techniques for how to picture what you want in life and what kind of visions you want. Um, and I definitely use those tools a lot um, when I first went vegan and um, throughout, I went to college for one year and then I dropped out to do this. And I've always sort of pictured like where I wanted to be and what it, where I wanted to go with things. And um, I've always known that I wanted to be a part of a vegan community and I wanted to work with fruit. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I also do, um, I make vision boards a lot, um, made one this year and then I, I made a few in the past as well. Um, and it's really cool seeing the different things that I put on my vision boards, like come into reality, um, just by repeating the, seeing the picture every day, it, it goes into your subconscious. And I feel like every action that I take is sort of trying to get myself to the visions that I have for myself. I love that. I love that. I love that. I have uh, similar uh, experiences with vision boards, creating a few over the years and looking back and seeing how like, now that I have the things, it's so obvious. Of course I have this. And of course I have that, you know, it's my reality. But at the time I put it on my vision board because I didn't have it. Right. And so a lot of things you put in your vision board, you know, at first it seems unrealistic. And then eventually it's like, Oh, well, of course I'm, you know, doing this or doing that. So that's, that's really cool that you also have success with, with vision boards. 